Well, I've decided to take the bumper off um, to give me a little bit more room. Now I've got a few bits and pieces out here. I've got the air intake out and the filter box. So you can see what's going on down there. We've got pipes down here for the radiator to disconnect. So that's off the water pump there. Um, <clears throat> still get this heat shield off, but I've got to get the air con pipes out of the way first to get that off. Then hopefully, just thinking that if I can get this manifold off, I think we might have enough room because that engine will come right back here. Then maybe get the water pump off. Water pump's the thing that's going to be taking up a little bit of space because that ends about there. So we're going to be able to bring this engine forward a couple of inches to clear the back. So yeah, not sure yet. Like I say, I think the recommended way to get this engine out is to drop it out the bottom with the subframe and everything, but I really don't want to be doing that, disconnecting the power steering pipes and everything. Um, we'll get the water drained off, get the header tank out. That's the header tank there. Get some of this pipe work out of the way then. Um, still thinking of whether there's any benefit in taking this panel off. It definitely unbolts here. There's three bolts there. One, two, three. Whoops, sorry, you can't see that one. One behind the water. Uh, windscreen washer fluid top up thing there that one it's even better there one two three um, bumper comes off so i've taken the grill out that just pulled out there was no screws in the top here which leads me to believe that might have been off before <coughs> taken a couple of little screws out here so there's one just there and another one just there so we've taken those out and done the same the other side so apparently there's two little clips adjacent to the headlights it says um, don't know what they are what they mean by those it's not very clear on the drawing what they are a little bit of the uh, grill broken off there for some reason um, don't know what these clips are adjacent to the headlights. Pfft, don't know. Got to crawl underneath. There's a panel here, which is fitted to the subframe. Um, there's some little things underneath. We'll get under and have a look at that in a minute. Just notice that, which is a bit concerning. That is a piece of um, the bottom of the radiator, a bracket with a cable attached to it, and that's just lying there loose. Um, I think that's the air con condenser. That's this outer radiator here. That one, the bottom of that's fallen off. Um, so yeah, I don't know, might have to get a new one of those, we'll have a look at that in more detail. Let's see if we can crawl underneath and show you what needs to be disconnected under here. Oh, So, there's some little plastic rivet things somewhere there. One there, another one in the middle there. And another one over that side there. So they've got to pop out because this bit here the bottom of the radiator, uh, bottom of the bumper, this big plastic piece here, can't even get back far enough underneath you see it, um, <coughs> while we're under here, there's fog light wiring there, so that needs to pop off, get that off while we're here, crawl across and do the other side, still not sure what they mean by these plastic rivets adjacent to the adjacent to the um, headlights can't see anything under here so let's crawl across and see if we can grab that other headlight uh, fog light wiring clip there so that's off so it's just those little clips there that have got to come out I've got a little pry bar thing for them, we'll get that out in a moment. A little search for those plastic clips. Oh, excuse the camera angle while I grovel out from underneath the car. So, it goes on about these plastics. I only see these, but it looks like it's part of the radiator. Although that does look like what they're talking about. So maybe we'll pop them out and see what happens. Right, get some more tools out and uh, crack on and see if we can get this bumper off. And then the good thing is I've got to find somewhere to store it. Maybe in the back of the GSI if I put the seats down. That would seem like a good place to store it. Poor old thing. 
hasn't been out for a run since June time. Well, there is another car show coming up the end of August. It's next weekend, actually, I think. Um, Fox Fest at Billing Aquadrome in Northamptonshire. So I might give her a run out to there just for the day on the Saturday or something. But uh, we'll see what the weather's like and see how we get on with this. So as you can see, we're slowly getting there. Um, got the bumper off, got the slam panel off, no line down here. Um, had to di uh, disconnect a different, another piece of air intake that was along here. Um, and in these slight holes on the slam panel, in fact that was uh, that way around. So yeah, that was slotted in there, another piece of air ducked in, went across the front of the radiator. So that's out. Next thing to do, I think I'm going to get the crash bar out. So there's a couple of bolts, Torx bolts in there. I don't know whether I'm. They're not nuts under. They might be nuts underneath. Yeah, they are nuts. So I think I can get that out without having to take the headlight out, which would be quite useful. So there's a couple of um, Torx bolts on there, which I might be able to get a spanner on. I've got some Torx spanners. And then they're ordinary nuts. Uh, where are we? Up under there somewhere. I can see that. Somewhere there. So, I think that's the next thing. Get this out. It's a crash panel. This is a sort of bumper panel. Um, get that off. And then, it gives me access to the radiators. The drain off point. Get those out. We can get to the radiator pipes and stuff down there. So, let's crack on. See how far we can get. There's a couple of rivets holding this plastic piece on here, just making it difficult to get some cover clips out of the bag. So I'm just going to pop these rivets out. Drill. Get over with this drill. Done the job quite easily. Right everyone, not sure how much you've got on the, I've got on the other camera, I think the battery's packed up, um, so I don't know when it stopped. So I'm just going to go do a quick recap of what I've done so far this afternoon, or today rather. Um, so, remove the slam panel, um, the bit that goes across there, that's uh, lying down there, so that's that bit. Um, that was quite straightforward, um, three bolts at each end, one, two, three. And one, two, three, and the one round there. Um, quite straightforward to get off. Um, there was the cable for pulling the uh, the uh, boot bonnet release cable, and I think there was some wiring. That wiring went across to something. Oh, that was the uh, the bonnet switch. So it's the uh, switch for the alarm. So that went across there as well. So it had to be removed. Um, bumper had to come off. Uh, that was quite straightforward, so we did, I think I just showed you this earlier. Um, there's some little screws in there. Oh, where are we? One there, and another one down there. They screwed into the bumper. Uh, the bumper's clipped on either side. There's some retaining clips here, there and there. Just have to lift and pull that off, that comes off quite easily. Um, I think there was some, oh that's right, underneath this, so this is the subframe underneath here, there's a panel on the butt front of the bumper, um, I'll show you that in a minute, goes up underneath here with a couple of uh, pushing rivets, I think we've got some video on that. When I took it out, um, what else did we do, took the crash bar off from behind the bumper, so that's the piece that goes across there, that's lying down somewhere, don't know what I've done with it now, um, oh yeah, that's there. So that's the crash bar. And that was the slam panel. You can see the bonnet release on that. So that's the crash bar. It goes behind the bumper that sits across here. That was removed by just taking out these two bolts at each end. Again, a little bit of wiring clipped along the back of it. 
um, if you're doing this yourself just make sure um, you unclip any cables that you see make a note or a photograph of something where they go um, the only thing I did have to do to get these bolts out because obviously they go through the panel through the uh, crash bar itself to get them right out I just had to loosen these nuts on the headlights at the top here and just lift the headlight up a um, couple of centimetres just to get those bolts to slide out so because actually they're down with the nuts on that side but when they go in they go thread first head at the top with the bolt there nut at the bottom so they won't drop out I guess if the nut was to fall off so that's that done um, like I say radiator pack has come out um, that was a bit of a pain there's a couple of pipes to connect disconnect there and there they were quite hard to get off they've been on quite a while there's two more pipes ran up here to the header tank which is up there which have also removed so header tank's gone um, power steering pipes off the power steering pump so the whole front of this engine is pretty free now ready to come out um, you can see there that's where I got the um, exhaust down pipe off the catalytic converter so this is the catalytic converter and manifold here I'm going to try and get this off just to give us a bit more room make things a bit lighter to move Actually, I don't know whether probably be easy to try and get this off um, get this off of the engine while the engine's in the car rather than try and take it off um, with it out of the car so because that's got to go on the replacement engine so that's out like I say radiators out um, it's getting very close now I think there's a little bit more wiring so I think there's a plug here and this plug here at the ECU because that's the main bit of wiring harness there down sorry there wasn't showing you wafting the camera around that is I think the reversing light switch there this here is the hydraulic hose for the clutch so that's got to come off the only thing i'm a little bit unsure way down here you can see there the gearbox mechanism or gear change mechanism um that's got to come off not too sure how that comes off just yet um what else have we got we've got a vacuum hose there that's got to come off the fuel rail's got to come off that's pressurized so we need to depressurize it I've shown you that before in previous videos so there's a little like a little schrader little tire valve type thing under this cap you push that in releases the pressure and then you nip this up with a special tool which i've got so that's got to come off um then i think i think that's it oh yeah no one more thing um it's got a crawl underneath and have a look at the starter motor wiring i don't know whether that comes off the engine harness or whether that's a separate um separate lot of wires actually i suppose we could have a look on the new engine let's have a a quick sneaky peek if we can see on the new engine there's lots of stuff all over it at the minute um can we get to the starter motor aside oh uh, not really starter motor sides on the bottom so i can't be bothered at the minute um but I'll have a crawl under and have a look, see what I can see. So, that's where we've got to now. Got to find somewhere to store this. I'm going to be packing up, I think, soon. And having a shower, because it is ridiculously hot out here. Um, I'm actually on call for um, my job this week, and I got called out at a ridiculous time last night. Well, it was just before I went to bed last night, and then again 2 o'clock this morning. So I'm absolutely shattered. Um, didn't get out here as early as I wanted to. But um, still had quite a good day at this. Um, I think a little bit more work and I think I can be ready for whipping this engine out, which will probably be Sunday now. Yeah, servo hose for the, for the uh, brake servo on there, vacuum line for that. So... There's not a lot more. If I think of anything else, I'll uh, fire the camera up again and uh, and let you know. But basically, I'm going to get on and remove this manifold. I'm going to remove this um, hydraulic hose, reversing light switch, have a read up on the uh, gear change mechanism and have a look underneath. But I think we're very, very close.